Hello, thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to model this 2D snowflake in Rhinoceros 6. First thing, I'm going to start with a circle. The center of my circle is going to be at the origin, which will be 0, pressing Enter. And it's going to be a 4 inch diameter. Make sure you have diameter selected at the input level in the command prompt. You might have radius, switch it to diameter. It's going to be a diameter of 4, enter, 4 inch circle. Now I'm going to go to a center rectangle, left click and hold on the rectangle tool in Rhino, and we want this second rectangle option, which is a center corner rectangle. Center of our rectangle is going to be at the origin, 0, enter. The width is going to be 0.3, enter, and then the length or the height, 4, enter. We're going to repeat that command by pressing spacebar or right click. The center of our rectangle is also going to be at 0. The other corner or length will still be 0.3. And then the second dimension will be 1 inch. I'm going to rotate this 1 inch rectangle 45 degrees with the rotate tool. Selecting the object to rotate, enter. Center of rotation is going to be at the origin, 0. Rotating, 45 degrees, 4, 5, enter. Now we're going to move this rectangle up towards the top of the stem of the snowflake. To do that, I'm going to select the rectangle. I'm going to go down to my O-snap section and make sure it's active and we want the midpoint O snap active. Move tool is right here or type in the command move. Click on the center midpoint of this bottom edge and then we could eyeball it here but we're actually going to place it at a coordinate of 0 comma 1. Enter. We need to do the same thing on the other side going to use the command mirror located underneath the move tool right here or keyboard no keyboard shortcut type in the command mirror select object to mirror enter mirror start plane bottom midpoint top midpoint going to mirror that again I'm going to mirror these two objects Spacebar to mirror, click, click, enter when done. Start of my mirror plane is going to be this midpoint. And then I'm going to hold down shift, keep everything orthographic, just like that. I no longer need this circle. That was just more for reference geometry and size. Going to delete that. We need to now trim all these overlapping line segments. Trim tool is located right here. Type in trim, select the cutting objects, I'm going to select everything, press enter, and then click on these overlapping lines. Once the lines have been trimmed, notice they are all individual sections. We need to select everything and join them to make them one continuous closed path. Next command will be the polar array command located right here underneath the move tool. Command prompt would be array polar, no spaces. Selecting the object, pressing enter. Center of the polar array will be at zero. It will be copied three times and then 360 degrees. Enter to approve. And once again, we need to trim. Select everything, enter, and click on what you want to disappear. You can right click, excuse me, left click going right to left and get a little selection window. Sometimes this is faster. And finally, we need to join these segments. And that is how you create a snowflake in Rhino as a 2D sketch geometry. 
Once you have finished drawing your snowflake, save it on the flash drive as a Rhino file in your folder inside a folder named Snowflake.